Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Very good. Have you worked on your exercises? What have you done today? Hello, good evening. Can you hear me? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you doing today, Estela? Uh, I am tired. Tired? Uh, did I, you work today? Yes, I worked um, all day. <laughs> wow. At home or you are going out, out of your home? At home, uh, but uh, I had a lot of work in this moment. Oh, wow. I can imagine that. <laughs> well, did you work on the platform? Yes. Did you have any inconvenience or everything is okay with the platform? Uh, it's okay. Okay, very good. And the rest of you, I see that some of you have been working in the platform. That is very nice. And remember that we are working in the section number four. So we are almost finishing, right? So you have to catch up with your exercises. Okay. Um, algunos sí me reportaron problemas. Les estuve ayudando ahora. Eh, Solo los demás espero que vayan trabajando, estén al día igual. Cualquier problema que tengan pueden escribir ya sea al chat del grupo o lo pueden hacer a mí directamente. Estamos para ayudarles. And, uh, bueno, vamos a empezar en honor a los que están temprano. Ok. <ríe> a veces es difícil conectarse y perdemos algunos minutos ahí, pero bueno. Um, Ayer les decía, vamos a seguir con uh, un poco más ampliando lo de SOM y ENI. Uh, uh, ¿Qué recuerdan que decíamos sobre SOM y ENI el día de ayer? Que SOM lo ocuparíamos en las oraciones afirmativas. Any, eh, pues, eh, solamente en las negativas y ambos se pueden utilizar en pregunta. Exactly, right. Excellent. That's the answer. Okay. Uh, we have some exercises here about some and any. Remember that we use some for affirmative and polite sentences. What is polite? Do you know polite? No. Uh, when you say polite, es cuando usted está pidiendo o diciendo algo de manera cortés. That is polite. Entonces usamos son para afirmativas, oraciones afirmativas. Y cuando necesitamos hacer algo de manera cortés y cuando esperamos, aquí dice o. Oh, Cuando tú esperas que la respuesta sea sí, ¿ok? Acá tenemos algunos ejemplos. I have got some good news. Tengo buenas noticias. Eso es una oración afirmativa. De, eh, ellos tienen algo que decir, right? Um, y este es un ejemplo de lo que estamos diciendo arriba. Cuando usted hace algo de manera cortés, usamos el son. Cuando estamos ofreciendo o pidiendo algo. Por ejemplo, acá tenemos un ejemplo. Would you like some tea? Estamos viendo el son acá en esta pregunta. ¿Quisieras un poco de té? Would you like some tea? O cuando usted está pidiendo algo y espera, aquí dice, espera que la respuesta sea sí. Por ejemplo, aquí tenemos esta pregunta. Can I have some more cake, please? 
le está pidiendo o le está preguntando si puede, si le pueden dar un poco más de pastel, por favor. Entonces, si usted pide un poco más o repetirse, espera que le digan que sí, ¿verdad? Entonces, en ese caso, some. Can I have some more cake, please? Y any, lo que decíamos, es um, se utiliza en preguntas y en oraciones negativas. I haven't got any good news. Esa es negativa. She hasn't got any sister. Y en esta está en pregunta. Have they got any wine? Tienen vino. Le puso mío. Okay, I have got, ahí sería some o any. Si es una oración afirmativa, I have some. got. Some. 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 Some money. Mm -hmm. I have got some money. Uh, he has and got. Any money. Any money. Mm -hmm. Excellent. He hasn't got any money. No. Have Bob and Sam got some um, any children? Any children. Uh -huh. Ahí se es una pregunta en la cual no tenemos idea, ¿verdad? There isn't um, any porque es negativa no hay nada no hay nada de vino there isn't negativa any there isn't any wine in the fridge ok I have got tengo queso uh, I have got some cheese but I haven't got any bread that's negative I'm going to the post office I need Um, some, some, some stamps. stamps. Okay. There aren't any, any any shops in this part of town. You have have you got um, any children? Any children? Uh huh. Ahí es como no tengo ni idea si tienes niños, verdad? Have you got any children? Now, there are some beautiful, some some beautiful, beautiful. flowers in the Teacher. garden. Yes. O sea que es como en español, vea. Nosotros no le decimos, usted tiene un poco de niño, vea. No. Sino que decimos, usted, ¿verdad que usted no tiene ningún niño? Uh -huh. Entonces, ah, es cuando algo es, ¿Sí? cuando no tenemos idea de lo que, de la respuesta, es que usamos el any. Ajá, exacto. Ah, okay. Thank you. El son es más bien cuando usted espera que le digan que sí, pero es casi que cuando usted está pidiendo algo, como un favor. Uh -huh. Ok. O cuando usted está ofreciendo algo. Por ejemplo, si yo le ofrezco agua, si usted está de visita y le pregunto si usted quiere agua, Espero que me diga que sí, ¿verdad? Que no me desprecie. <ríe> Would you like some water? ¿Tiene un poco de agua? Ok. And in this, do you know any good hotel in London? Ok, aquí no tengo idea si usted conoce o no conoce algún buen hotel en Londres. Entonces usamos any. Cuando no tenemos ni idea. Pero podría ¿verdad? haber sido son también. Sí, ¿verdad? claro. Podría decir son. Ahí el son y el any no es flexible. No crea que porque usted dijo son aquí y en la presentación decía any está incorrectísimo. No. Lo único que sí es no es flexible es en las oraciones. En oraciones son va a ir solo en afirmativas. Y any solo en negativas. Pero en preguntas sí hay una flexibilidad. Okay. 
para donde no se puede es cuando estamos haciendo o pidiendo algo de manera amable. Ahí sí es some. Uh -huh. O ofreciendo algo. Por ejemplo, aquí. Would you like? Some. Would you like some? Some, some tea. tea. Uh -huh. es cuando estamos haciendo ofrecimiento, sí es some. Aquí, pues esto ya lo entendieron muy bien. Bye. Any, any rice. Don't buy any rice. We don't need any. No compres arroz. No necesitamos. That's any. Okay. I wanted to buy. Quería uh, comprar some. some oranges, but they didn't have any. Any. Mm -hmm. En este caso, vea, le dice, estoy sedienta. I'm thirsty. Can I have some water, please? Ahí sí, porque espero que, que, que me digan que sí, que me van a dar agua porque tengo mucha sed. Cuando usted pide algo de manera amable y espera que la respuesta sea sí, entonces lo usamos el some en ese tipo de preguntas. I'm thirsty. Can I have some water, please? Este es ejemplo de oración. Let's listen to some music. And have some tea. We need some bread. Some bread for dinner? Yes. The children went out. Aquí dice que los niños salieron sin nada de dinero. Without is sin. Without any money. En este caso, imagínese la pregunta es si ha visto osos. Esos animales son peligrosos. <laughs> Have you seen any bears? <laughs> ¿Ha visto osos? Espero que me diga que no, no será al menos cerca. <laughs> yeah. Have you seen any bears? Okay, let's buy some postcards. And also I have a link so you can, we can practice together with this link. Let us check it. Okay, this is one exercise using any and some. Uh, in this case, as you see here, there is milk in the fridge. There is. Um, some. Um. Okay, so you say the answer is some. Um. It's good. Mm -hmm. Okay, in the next, this bottle. Hasn't got any, 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 any. Okay, good. Some. Some. Yes, it's good. Some. 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 Exactly, yes, good. Any. Any. Excellent. That's the answer. Some. Some. Good. Any. Any. Excellent. Any. Any. Good. That's the answer. Some. 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 Any. Yes, excellent. Some. Any. Any. Uh, any, any. Aha, uh -huh, good. Some. 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 Great. 
Awesome. Exactly. Any? Yeah, good. Okay, we finished. No more questions and you did it perfect. So you see, tries 14, scores 14. It's great, excellent job. Now, in the next one, we have uh, some others. It, it's, we are going to include the articles. Okay, remember that in este tema, según lo vimos en la plataforma, vamos a utilizar también some, any, y los articles, a, and, and. ¿Cuándo usamos estos articles? Remember. ¿Cuándo se usan estos dos? Creo que son para adjetivos. Sí. ¿Cuándo se usa de, esto? Para definir singular y plural. Oh, no, no exactly. Ok, vamos a hacer un pequeño... Uh, para que recuerden esto, esto se vio en el módulo pasado. Vamos a hacer un poquito de refresh. Esto, vamos a empezar. ¿Qué significa? Esto es A y AN. Ambos significan un o una. Por lo tanto, lo vamos a usar solo cuando vayamos a mencionar un nombre o en singular. Solo se utilizan en singular. ¿Okay? Eh, ¿Cuál es la diferencia si ambos significan lo mismo? Un o una. El género. Eh, mm. Se utiliza, por ejemplo, el A se utiliza cuando la siguiente palabra empieza con consonante, creo. Exacto. Y el AND con vocal. Exacto. Ajá. Eh, cuando el A, ambos significan lo mismo. A y AND significan lo mismo. Un o una. Un o una. Ok, pero la diferencia es si el nombre que yo voy a mencionar a continuación empieza con sonido consonante, entonces uso A. Eh, si quiero decir un, un, un guineo, a banana, banana, sonido consonante, banana, empieza con, ¿verdad? Empieza con sonido consonante, a banana. An. Orange. Orange, ajá, uh -huh, good example, an orange. Ok, esto es solo para evitar lo que, bueno, en español podría ser lo que se le conoce como cacofonía. Ajá, uh -huh. porque si yo digo una naranja utilizando este, diría a o, a orange, a orange. Entonces, para evitar eso, se hace de esta manera, an orange, an orange. Igual sonaría extraño si voy a mencionar un nombre que empiece con sonido consonante y hacer esto acá, and banana, no suena bien. So, por eso está la diferencia entre los dos. Ajá. Ahora, vamos a seguir con el ejercicio. Veamos, son en any. Okay. okay, here we are. Now, remember, a or an and then singular nouns. For example, there is a cat in the chair. There is an apple in the table, right? Some and any plus plural nouns, okay? with positive statements, there are some cats, any questions and negatives, there aren't any dogs here. Are there any children there? Okay, let's complete 
using some, any, a, uh, or an. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's begin. Number one, what is missing here? Um, there is um, an airport next to the city. There are um, beautiful gardens. Some. Some. Son, ajá, como ahí tengo un plural, no puedo usar a or an. Como es una oración afirmativa, usamos el some. There are some beautiful gardens, but there aren't any, any. fountains. Ajá, any, or any fountains. Mm. ¿Qué se abrió aquí? There aren't any fountains. There are postcards on this table for you. There are some. Some. Okay. Are there parents in that party? And some. Okay. There isn't shopping center. Any. Uh, any. Okay, any shopping center in this town? Is there office near here? Any. Some. Okay. There are good books that you should read. Some. Some. Okay, some. Uh, is there any? Hmm. Any orange? Okay. Are there chocolates in Any. the kitchen? Any. There aren't Any. cookies left. Any cookies left. There is house next to the river. Uh, there uh, okay. uh, a house next to the river number 12 are there any any iron chairs in your house okay now decide if the sentences are correct or incorrect where it c correct or i incorrect there are any pictures on the wall. Is that correct or incorrect? Incorrect. 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 Okay. There is a cat near the wall. Correct. Correct. Are there some books in the shelves? Correct. Incorrect. There aren't any dog in the garden. Correct. Correct. Okay, this is correct. Vamos a ver. Correct. There are some mistakes in your essay. Correct. Correct. Okay, is there some boy in the living room? Boy in the living room. Is there some boy in the living room? Correct. Incorrect. There are some apples in the kitchen. Correct. Correct. Vamos a revisar. Don? Hmm. It says very good, ocho. Very good, and we got eight. ¿Por qué tenemos ocho? Very good, eight. Okay. <laughs> Vamos a ver. Ok. 
Okay, there isn't shopping center. Es un nombre singular. Antes de un nombre singular. Ajá, vamos a probar. Ah, there isn't a shopping center. Is there... Office. Porque es un singular, ah. una oficina, an office. Y acá, is there. Ajá, está mencionando un singular, ah. an orange ah. in the fridge. Ah. Y luego, aquí, there aren't any dog. In the garden, ¿por qué estaba incorrecta? Porque there aren't es plural. Y luego dice any dog, la palabra dog está en singular. Entonces hay una inconsistencia acá, aren't y aquí dog. Aquí debería decir dogs o there isn't. A dog, si fuera singular, pero por lo tanto vamos a escribir que es correcto. Uh -huh. Así es que ahora solo nos da show answers. Ya no lo podemos, pero sí, ya corrigiéndolo es, eso era lo que debemos de siempre fijarnos, ¿verdad? Si es un singular noun, vamos a poner a o an antes de él. Y aquí pues la inconsistencia es que aquí tenemos para plural, there aren't. Hablábamos de la there is y there are. Es cuando estamos explicando o hablando sobre la existencia de algo. There is es para decir hay. Los dos son para decir hay, de, de haber, de existir. There is a phone singular y there are es para plurales. Entonces aquí tenemos there aren't, eh, are para plural, dice que no hay any. Aquí debería de ser dogs. O usar isn't y dejar dogs siempre en singular. Okay. That is just a review. Eso es solo como una manera de repaso del some y el any. Antes de pasar a lo siguiente. Conversation, page 59. Estábamos viendo la conversación ayer sobre las comidas. Right? This conversation. How about some sandwiches? Esta la practicamos, la estudiamos. I don't have any letters, cheese. Pero no la practicamos en grupo, ¿verdad? So let's listen for pronunciation and then we're going to practice it. Page 59, exercise two, conversation. How about some sandwiches? Listen and practice. What do you want for the picnic? Hmm, how about some sandwiches? Okay, we have some chicken, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any lettuce? Let's see. No, we need some. Let's get some tomatoes too. Okay, and let's buy some potato salad. All right, everyone likes potato salad. Okay, do you have any question about vocabulary? Or pronunciation? No. No. Okay, I'm going to repeat so you can repeat after me. Let's repeat. What do you want for the picnic? What do, do you, you want, want for, for the, the picnic? picnic? Okay, one more time. What do you want for the picnic? What do you want, what do you for, want the for the picnic? What do you want for the picnic? Hmm, how about some sandwiches? Okay, we have some chicken, but we don't have any bread. Okay, okay. we have okay. some okay. chicken, have but some we don't have any bread. Okay, one more time. 
Okay, we have some chicken, but we don't have any bread. Okay, we have we some have chicken, chicken, but we don't have any bread. We don't have any bread. Very good. And we don't have any cheese. And we don't, and we have, don't any have any cheese. Any cheese. Do we have any letters? Do we have any letters? Let's see. No, we need some. Let's see. Let's get some tomatoes too. Okay, and let's buy some potato salad. Okay, okay, and let's go to some potato salad. All right, everyone likes potato salad. All right, All right. I like potato salad. I like potato salad. Like potato salad. Okay. okay, I'm going to send you the conversation so you can practice. I'm going to send it to your WhatsApp group. And then we want to practice in pairs. D2, okay. There you have the conversation. Ya tienen la conversación en su teléfono. So now you're going to practice in groups. Okay. Um, Let's start. Click join or unirse so you can practice in pairs. Well, it's a group of three. Take turns and practice. Okay. Listen. Jefe, con, con Roxana va usted la primera vez. Okay. ok. What do you want for the picnic? Now about some sandwich. Ok, we have some chicken, but we don't have any bread. And we don't, don't have any cheeses. Do we have any letter? Let's see. No, we need some. Let's get some tomatoes too. Okay, and let's buy some potato salads. All right, everyone like potato salad. Yeah. Okay, well done. Continue practicing. Pueden seguir practicando con Blanca, creo que no participó ahorita. No. Ok. Se no, turnan pues. ahí con Rosana y luego vuelven a cambiar roles. You did it excellent. Lo hicieron bien. Practiquenlo más para que se oiga más suelto, pero lo han hecho excelente. Voy a ver otro lado. Gracias. Okay. Gracias. Do we have any letters? Do we have letters. any letters. letters? Letters. Let's see. No, we need some. Let's get some uh, tomatoes. 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 Como? Tomatoes. Tomatoes. Tomatoes, too. Okay, and let's buy some potato salad. All right, everyone likes pie. Yes, I would trap. Potato. Potato. I see. Potato. I have potato salad. Potato salad. Potato salad. Hoy lo hacemos al revés. Usted comienza y yo 
sigo. Ok. Ajá, sí. lo pueden hacer al revés o pueden hacerlo de nuevo de la misma forma y tratar de hacerlo un poquito más rápido. Ok, no. teacher. Ajá, that's ok. Lo están haciendo muy bien y me alegra que Regina le ayude a Johnny con la pronunciación. <risa> Sí, ok, correcto. Johnny, remember, letters and potato. Ahora vuelvanlo a hacer y ya Johnny ya, ya puede letters and potato. <laughs> letters and potato. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Continue. I see everybody's back again. All right, so we continue practicing vocabulary about foods as we've been doing so far. And uh, what well, we have the grammar focus. And we're going to discuss about a uh, different kind of breakfast. What do we usually have for breakfast? Okay, uh, we have this snapshot about a different breakfast around the world. We have some vocabulary here that we can practice too. Let us listen. And then after that, we're gonna practice it. Five, snapshot. What do you have for breakfast? Listen and practice. The United States. Cereal with milk. Fresh fruit. Orange juice. Coffee. Japan. Fish. Rice. Soup. Pickles. Green tea. Mexico. Eggs. Beans, tortillas, fresh fruit, sweet bread, coffee with milk. Okay, which one is the is similar to our breakfast in El Salvador? Mexico. Uh -huh. The Mexican breakfast is the most, well, it's like the, the ones we usually eat here. Okay, let us practice. Let's repeat cereal with milk. 
Cereal will milk. Fresh fruit. Fresh fruit. Fresh fruit. Fresh fruit. Oranges. 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 Fresh fruit. Coffee. Orange. Coffee. Coffee. Fish. 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 Rice. Fish. Rice. 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 Soup. 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 Pickles. 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 Green tea. Green tea. Green tea. Green tea. Eggs. 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 Beans. 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 Tortillas. 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 Yeah. Fresh fruit. Fresh fruit. Fresh fruit. Sweet, fruit. Sweet bread. Sweet, Sweet bread. bread. Coffee with milk. Coffee, Coffee with, with milk. milk. Coffee with milk. milk. Any new word or vocabulary you have questions about? Pickles. Okay, pickles uh, in general son los pickles son pepinillos y también todo lo que lleva sea curtido, pickles. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Las cosas que van encurtidas es pickles o pepinillos. Esos es Pepinos curtidos que ponen en las hamburguesas son pickles, pepinillos. Uh -huh. Sweet bread. Uh, sweet bread es pan dulce. Ay, qué rico. Ajá, pan dulce, sweet bread. Hojitas. Ajá, no. that. <laughs> Ajá, es sweet bread, pan dulce. <laughs> De hecho, ahí se ve como que fuera una novia. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. Any other new word? Okay. Let's practice this question. What do you have for breakfast? Susan, what do you have for breakfast? Coffee with sweet bread hojitas. Coffee and sweet bread. Yes. Okay, nice. It's, <laughs> it's very simple, very practical. <laughs> okay, Susan, can you ask the question to another classmate? Okay, what do you have for breakfast, Estela? Um, my breakfast is uh, sometimes cereal with milk, and other times beans, eggs, tortillas. Okay, very nice, Estela. Uh, can you ask the question to another classmate? Patricia, what do you have for breakfast? My breakfast is cereal with milk and coffee with milk and sweet bread. Sweet bread. Nice. Okay, Patricia, okay. ask another classmate. Melissa, what do you have for breakfast? Breakfast. Breakfast. Excellent. Repeat the question. What do you have for breakfast? What do you have for breakfast? Uh, my breakfast is cereal with milk. Cereal? Coffee. Cereal with milk. Uh, coffee with milk. Um, fresh fruit. Good bread. Okay, fresh fruit and sweet bread. That's nice, Melissa. Can you ask another classmate? What do you have for breakfast, Vladimir? Mm, my breakfast, Mexican menu. It bean, tortillas, fresh food, sweet bread. Um, sweet bread, okay. Sweet bread. 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 And coffee. Nice. Vladimir, can you ask another person? What do you have for breakfast? 
coffee and pupusas. Okay, coffee and pupusas. Eric, can you ask another classmate? Uh, we have Clarissa, Blanca. Clarissa, what do you have for, for breakfast? Clarissa? Okay, Blanca, can you answer that question? Okay, my breakfast is fresh fruit, coffee, and then sweet bread. Sweet bread, okay, good. Blanca, can you ask the question to Regina? Uh, Regina, what do you have for breakfast? Um, Coffee and sweet bread, or sometimes orange juice and beans. Okay, excellent. Uh, can you ask to Roxana, Mayra, or Carla? Uh, what do you What do you have for breakfast, Roxana? Coffee and sweet bread. Okay, good, Roxana. Can you ask the question to Mayra? Um, what do you have for breakfast, Blanca? Mayra. Eh, Blanca. Ma Hola. Hola. Eh, Coffee and uh, pupusas. Coffee and pupusa. Coffee and pupusas. Okay, very good. Can you ask Carla, please? What do you have for breakfast? Carla, what do you have for breakfast? What do you have for breakfast, Carla? Mm, parece que se desconectó Carla. Okay, I think that. Okay. Hello. Escuché a alguien por ahí, pero quizás no. Okay, uh, this is the most common um, items that you can see in a breakfast. And in this part uh, is part of the platform, so you can continue practicing there. Uh, here we have the grammar focus. And we're going to practice with more of this. So let's try to do it together, this conversation, just to finish with the topic of some and any before we finish the class. Okay, it says the store doesn't have any potato salad. And then it says, well, we have lots of potatoes. Let's make some. Yes, that's. Well, we have lots of potatoes. Let's make some. Do we have any? Any mayonnaise? Yes, excellent. Do we have any mayonnaise? No, we need to buy some. Some, excellent. We need to buy some. All right, uh, let's continue. Hmm. We need, and then says onions too. Any. We need onions some. too. Some. We need some. some, yes, we need some <coughs> onions too. And it says, oh, I don't want, any. I don't want any, any yeah. onions. Uh -huh. I hate onions. I don't want any onions. I hate onions. Okay, then let's get some celery. Aha, uh -huh. that's exactly right. Let's get some celery. Now, no, I don't want 
any celery. Any, yes. I don't want any celery in my potato salad. But let's put some apples in it. Apples in potato salad? That sounds awful. Okay, questions about vocabulary? Celery. Celery is apio. Uh, Ajá, ese es el apio. And full. Oh, full es algo asqueroso. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Onions. Onion son cebollas. Okay, no more questions? No. No, okay. Vamos a repetir. Vamos a ir viendo aquí donde está esta letra chiquita. Esto desafortunadamente no lo puedo ampliar. Pero vamos a practicar pronunciation. Let's repeat. The store doesn't have any potato salad. The store, the store doesn't, doesn't have, have any potato, potato salad. Potato salad. Well, we have lots of potatoes. Let's make some. Well, well, we, we have, have a lot of potatoes, let's, oh, let's make some. Okay, do we have any mayonnaise? Okay, okay. do we have any, have any mayonnaise? 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 No, we need to buy some. No, no we, we need, need to buy some. We need to buy some. We need some onions too. We need, we need some, some onions. onions too. Too. Oh, I don't want any onions. I hate onions. Oh, oh I, I don't, don't want, want onions. 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 I hate onions. Then let's get some celery. Let's get, then let's get, get some, some celery. celery. No, I don't want any celery in my potato salad. But then let's put some apples in it. No, no, I don't, I don't want, want any celery in my potato salad. Apple, apple, apple in apples in some apple in it. Aha, uh -huh. some apples in it. Mm -hmm. Some apples in apples in potato salad. That sounds awful. Apples, apples in, in potato, potato salad. salad. That, that sounds awful. awful. All right, good practice. Now, uh. I hope you have enjoyed today's topic. I see that you have understood very well. Uh, tomorrow we will continue practicing with vocabulary and also questions. So we continue with this topic. Remember that we are working in section four. Estamos ya trabajando en la sección cuatro. Mañana vamos a seguir con el vocabulario de las comidas. Y vamos a agregar algo más al tema. Veo que bastante han entendido son, any, lo están haciendo excelente. Traten de llegar hasta ahí en la plataforma y cualquier problema o duda estamos a la orden para ayudarles. Okay. Gracias. All right. Uh, so thank okay, you thank for you. joining us today, class. I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Take care. Tomorrow. Take care. Bye. Sleep Bye. well. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.